A fuel cell is an electrochemical device, um, and what I mean by that is you have your your fuel is hydrogen, and you use oxygen, and then what you're basically doing is reacting those to produce water, um, and by producing water, what you also do is produce some electricity and some heat. But because it's an electrochemical reaction, you don't have any moving parts, you don't really have any noise, so you massively reduce a number of the energy losses. So it's a very, very kind of efficient way of basically turning that hydrogen into useful electricity, heat and water. Um, and if you take uh, you know, a petrol engine in your car, where you take the petrol, you burn it, you get movement, heat, noise, you get all these kind of efficiency losses, which we don't get in our fuel cell system. So that's why a car engine can be, I don't know, 20, 25, maybe a little bit more percent efficient, where you know, an alkaline fuel cell system, which is the most efficient fuel cell system, you know, electrical efficiency can be 60%, and that's just the electrical. Um, you know, you've obviously got water produced, which has a value, and likewise with the heat as well. Bipolar plate, this is used to introduce the gases. The electrodes, this is used for, uh, this is necessary for the chemical reactions which take place, and this just simply places on top like that. Very, very simple. Next, this is our electrolyte plate. This is used to feed the liquid electrolyte into a fuel cell, which clips together. Next electrode, same as what you just saw. Finally, another bipolar plate. Again, feed more gas. Clips together. That's the fuel cell. So we are a technical team of about 23, 24 material scientists, largely, um, to reflect a lot of the core IP of what we do here. But we've got systems engineers, electronics engineers, we've got manufacturing people, CFD engineers, a whole range of engineers which you'd kind of expect. I think one of the advantages about being um, you know, a small, fast-moving company, which has all the right resource where it's needed, means that you know we can turn around things really quickly. We don't need bureaucracy for the sake of it. I mean, we can have you know a, a new idea or a new material, or we just want to repeat something, and we can do that in you know matter of you know hours as opposed to months. So it means that I used to be involved in this type of kind of fuel cell, and and, and like some of my other contemporaries, I mean, you heard of the alkaline fuel cell, and but it wasn't that you know this this thing that used to be on a spaceship 50 years ago or something. Uh, people really kind of. I don't know whether they just they didn't really kind of consider it and I think I, I looked at the technology and realized that maybe people had kind of missed a trick but I think you know really it comes down to the technology you know it's we've got a really good technology very very simple and it's a simple application of that and it's all about the simplicity that's, that's what's really really important I think what what has excited me is, is that we've actually been able to move the technology forward a lot quicker than even I expected when I kind of got involved just over a year or so ago so it's been a really I mean in you know you know really even like maybe 12 months or so I'd say that we've moved this forward more than you know some fuel cell companies have in potentially decades and this is real high value IP so we'd like to feel that you know we have the IP in place such that you cannot make a cheaper more simpler fuel cell system for this application I think what we have going on at AFC is because, I mean, I know the fuel cell community very well. No one's doing anything in alkaline fuel cells from industrial purposes. You know, what we have here is we have, a, you know, I think a team which is second to none. Um, we have all the right equipment in place. We're working with the right people and we're moving at a rate of knots, which, um, you know, I don't think anyone else on the planet is. Um, and the fact that we're already doing it. So by the time that somebody else actually gets round to even thinking about doing something to do with alkaline fuel cells, you know, we're years and years in front of them. Yeah, I think, you know, AFC's approach is really quite unique and I think incredibly bold as well. I mean, what we're doing is we're really kind of taking a step back and just said, right, you know, how do we, how, how do we you know, make energy? You know, how are we using this energy? As opposed to just trying to kind of tweak things a little bit better here and there and, um, you know, I guess you know, an electric car and slightly improve the efficiency or, you know, what we, we're doing is, is we're really thinking big here, you know, we're thinking about the large scale production of energy and how, you know, it is used and how that affects people's lives. And I think that offers, you know, you could say the world, 
you know, a really kind of unique proposition because really there isn't anything quite like this technology. And I think, you know, I've kind of just shown some of the simplicity of, you know, what goes into it. And obviously there's a lot more, but it's, you know, we, we have something, we're talking about, you know, really months here, you know, before we really kind of start doing some hard trials on this technology. I think we've pushed it, you know, very far in a short period of time. And, and I think it's, it's, it's a really truly kind of, ex, you know, unique proposition which we offer. And I don't think there's anyone else out there who, who's doing that. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident.